I'll never get my Ph.D. Oh, nonsense, Dr. Zulu. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Honey, the honeymoon's almost over. Oh, We're both yeah. be back to work soon. Of course, you can come by and see me at E.H. Drive Industries. I have my own office. Your own office? Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Fine. Mm. I don't know what I'd do without you all summer in New York. Oh, you were a mess. That's what happened. Yeah. All those gallery openings and auctions and dinner parties and cocktail parties and... So empty. Whitney, are you sure you're glad you came back? Of course I am. Saying yes to you at the airport was the best thing I've ever done in my whole life. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Missing your plane? Spending that extra night with me was the best thing you ever did in your life. Excuse me. Why don't you and I go to a good movie and cry together? I'm liberated. I'll let you pay. Oh, my goodness. Like bad foot fungus, he's back. <laughs> Didn't I see you graduate? Yes, Mr. Gaines, but I have one more class to take in European history. Just what I need. Another long tooth Romeo getting his degree on CP time. But don't let me catch you laundering here and pestering the young lady. And that goes for you, too, Dark Gable. Good, 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 I'll be right back. Hold my face. The woman for whom Big Ben told she looks so good at her. Well, hurt on, Mr. Johnson. So, what do you think about the big news? What big news? When a Whitley, you've lost a buddy, huh? Uh, they've all got to go sometime in. She's a good woman. Plus, if he didn't take the plunge, she was never going to give him any play. Oh, there's a good reason to commit. <laughs> oh, if it isn't most honest. <laughs> What'd you do all summer? Make moccasins? No, Ron. As a matter of fact, I spent the summer tutoring on a Navajo Indian reservation. You know, I found out what a South African homeland must be like. I mean, they live in substandard conditions. There's alcoholism, depression. You know what it is? Government-sanctioned cultural genocide. So, in other words, this was a pleasure trip for you. <laughs> oh, there they are. Congratulations! Hey, you look gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited for you. Eloping must have been so romantic, huh? <laughs> Eloping? Yes. Elope? Hey, why not thought you just got engaged? We did. Well, if you two didn't get married, then who did? We're, We're back. back. Oh, welcome home. Newlyweds. What? <laughs> oh, well, how was the polka nose? Well, I tell you, life sure looks different inside a heart-shaped tub. Yeah. <laughs> and my head lace tonight. What's it? What's it? Why did Why not forget it? Uh, Freddie, it was a very long, hot summer. Oh, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Now, I thought something was going on, but I ain't know all that was going on. Yeah, well, we went sailing on the 4th of July. There's been fireworks ever since. Oh, turn out, turn out, turn out. Well, the last day we went sailing, I looked up in the sky, and there was this plane sky riding, marry me, Jessa. Jessa? Well, they wanted 2250 a letter. Now, I knew she would understand. <laughs> well, at any rate, she said yes. Of course, I knew she would. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. oh, I'm happy for the both of you. Well, let me feed the newlyweds. Lisa, the school asked me to run the new dorm that my family had built, Dorothy Hot Hall, so we could see each other at all the faculty functions. Is it too late to get an annulment? Definitely. <laughs> Nice catch, Thank man. You, nice catch. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you, And by the way, it's good to have you in the department this year. Don't forget, we have our first staff meeting today at 4. 4? 4 o'clock. Oh, right. I didn't forget. Oh. <clears throat> I forgot. Look, um, Whitley's ring is going to be ready at 4, and now I have a staff meeting at 4. Can you help me out? No, oh, no problem. I'll pick it up on the way to the beach. Ron, watch out with it. It costs me everything I have. Partner, have I ever let you down before? I get it, I get it. <laughs> Hi, 
honey, you didn't finish your pie. So I cut you a fresh, big old piece. Oh, great. Can't have my man wasting away on me now. Come on, come on. Dig in. Mm-hmm. She made that up in World War II when they were rationing butter. Mm -hmm. Well, it's got that old wartime flavor, that. Now, the crust, that was the toughest part. Ah, that it is. That it is. Honey? Beloved? You hate my pie, don't you? Oh, I hate is such an ugly word. <laughs> <laughs> Laundry time. <laughs> Son, welcome home, there. All right. Uh, Teresa, congratulations. Thank you, Karen. Oh, sorry that you missed the wedding. How was Germany? Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good. You know, there's something that looks a little different about you. Oh, I, I am. I'm in the club. <laughs> oh, oh, well, uh, Son, well, we will discuss your initiation in detail a little later, all right? Uh, um, meanwhile, um, how about uh, something to drink? Soda or something like that, yeah? Um, Terrence, I'm very sorry, too, that you weren't able to make it to the wedding. You know, it was all just, you know, so sudden. Oh, don't, don't sweat it. I mean, the lady wife of Dad's is... A mother of mine. Thank you. That's so very sweet. Can I call you mom? Only if you eat my pie. <laughs> Look, there's nothing the girls in this dorm haven't tried that I haven't done better. Uh-huh. Ooh! What's that? What? Is this what they get in this dorm? Nope. nope. Hey! Nope. You give me my ring! I'll give it to you. I'm just saying what you want. I've been waiting all summer for that ring. Hey, 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 hey. Diamond, I go for blood. <laughs> Who said anything about this being a diamond? Well, whatever it is, I will love it. You lie like a rug. Go sit down. Why? Go sit down. Hush up. This is my moment, woman. <clears throat> Whitley, I've never met anybody like you before. And I'll probably never meet anybody like you again, thank God. <laughs> You're everything that I always wanted, and um, a lot that I never thought I wanted. You're my precious baby, and I'm yours. And I'm yours too, forever and ever and always. With this ring, I be engaged. Ta-da. What's the matter? You don't like it? Honey? It's beautiful, Dwight. I can't believe it's so big. Dwight? <laughs> hmm. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, I, I didn't. <laughs> it's too much. I know. I can't accept this. Oh, you're the most generous man I've oh, ever known. No, 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 not really. I'm not. And so modest, Dwayne. That's um, why I love you. Sweetie. Go and put it on me. Uh, no, maybe we should... Go just, on. No, why don't we... Put it on me, put it on me. <laughs> oh, darling, um, as I put this big old ring on your finger, <laughs> wow, I want you to know that I love you no matter what happens. I will remember this moment for the rest of my life. Oh, so will I. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm over here, I'm over here. I love you, I love you. I asked you to pick up with these rings, not rob the store. What are you talking about? You put back the whole diamond, man. I brought back whatever they gave me. What? How, the... Boy, how do you think I could afford a ring like that? 
I don't know. A man, a man will go into debt when he got his nose wide open. She's gonna hate the other ring now, bro. If the jeweler has to notice, why should you? Because it doesn't belong to me. Stupid. Well, this diamond probably came from South Africa. They owe us one anyway. Oh, you are so twisted. I can't take it back from her because this morning the first thing she said was good morning to the ring. She even named it the Star Pookie. What do you want to I really like the way that sounds. James, you say? I'll see you on here. Oh, that's all right. I'll take any room you have. No, honey, this is not the motel six. <laughs> I have to have proof that you belong. Whitley, maybe there's been some sort of computer error or something. Don't insult the school computer's resident assistant. If this poor child can't find a room, she has to go down to the housing office. That's all right. I won't bother you. It's a shame we couldn't work something out, though. I mean, I could learn a lot from a sister like you. That's why I came to college. Kimberly, call that housing office and see why those bumblers left this child on the street. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't even waste the call fee, because they're the ones who sent me over here. Well, that who? Um, the big fat man with the mustache. That would be Ms. Brown. <laughs> oh, well, she's the one. May I see your nose? She ain't give me one. Really? Ms. Brown never sends anyone anywhere without a note. What can I say? Old girl was backed up, I guess. <laughs> I knew you were trouble the minute you walked in here, Missy. <laughs> Nothing gets past me. Now, you just carry your little fly behind on out of here and be on your merry way. <laughs> Whitley, let's at least help her find something else. We're helping her find the door. Is that the baby? <laughs> well, 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 Susan Terrence, son of Jalisa. She's not my real mother, all right? Touchy, touchy. I'm not upset about it. I mean, why should I be? My folks have been divorced for a long time. Terrence, the old man threw you a curveball, but you'll get over it with a little time. Oh, with a little something else. My kind of therapy. That's what I thought. <clears throat> Baby. Baby, your perfume was calling me. So I'm picking up the phone. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> um, so you're freshman here, right? Yeah. What are you saying? The housing messed up, they didn't place me, so now I have what you call a walk-around rooming assignment. What's that? I walked around and decided where I wanted to room. High Hall. All I have to do now is get past that Miss Ebony fashion thing. <laughs> Whitley? Well, you know, my dad's the head of the math department. Maybe he can help. I know he can. Friends grab my brother? <laughs> I do 
not want this dorm to be known as the home of the hot and bother. <laughs> we have standards. We have pride. We have needs. <laughs> which obviously have not been met. <laughs> Let us not forget that we reside in the dorm named after the illustrious Dorothy Hot. Is she the one that did those sex reports? <laughs> Dorothy Hyde, my benighted friend, is the head of the National Council of Negro Women. She is also the creator of the Black Family Reunion. She is also one of the leaders of the organization of a hundred black women. I guess she black. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my. I have a visitor. What can I do for you now? I have a note from Dean Witherspoon. Dean Witherspoon? Yes. From the math department. Ah. Uh, dear Ms. Gilbert, please find a room in your dorm for Lena James. She is one of our most promising freshmen and a feature engineer. Sincerely yours, Dean Witherspoon. Well, as much as I would like to oblige the Dean, Lena James. We have no space either. I'm sorry. You've got an extra bedroom. <laughs> You're turning my living room into a sweatshop. I really like what you got on there, but you know what? I'd get rid of those pleats and that belt's a little bit too much. I'd probably wear it around my neck. Yeah. Well, I got this from the house of Chanel in Paris. Oh, really? I'm going there someday to meet that. I'm sure all of France awaits with bated breath. Big teeth, I say yes, alone. Pick me now. I get the feeling I want something too nice. It's my dry cleaner. What is my skirt doing out here? Did you try it on? Yeah, but it was just a little... Let me tell you something, Missy. My clothing is sacred. If I ever catch a little pause on my things again, you'll be out of here so fast you have skid marks on your bony derriere. <laughs> I'll fix the hem. <laughs> well, next time, ask. <laughs> Ori Vori. Au revoir. <laughs> So I just called that little Miss Lena right off. She'll think twice before messing with me again. That's good, sweetie. There's something that I really got to say. I just got to talk to that Dean Witherspoon. He's got his nerve. What's he like anyway? I don't know. He's in your department. No, he's not. Dean Witherspoon. He wrote me a letter on that stationery. Sweetie, I met the whole department at a meeting today. There was no Dean Witherspoon. That little man. I'm going to tear her into pieces Whitley, when I get Whitley, home. Whitley, please, enough about the dorm. You're right. I didn't even ask my Pookie how his day was. Mm. How was my Pookie's day? Oh, Pookie's day was rotten. Why? Because, uh, I've been trying to figure out how to tell you that you can't keep the ring. That's right. Yeah. Why, Dwayne, why can't I keep my ring? Because the jeweler accidentally gave me the wrong one. Oh! Does he know? Wait, please. I'm sorry. You're right. Truth is, I never really cared for this ring. So big. I loathe two-and-a-half-carat pear-shaped diamond rings. Please pack it. Ooh, what a load-off. Freedom! <laughs> well, the real one is a lot smaller. That's okay, Pookie. Comes from your billion-carat heart. Thank you. Mm. Thank you for understanding. Always, my love. Mm. I'm going to get us some champagne. You do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 